Hi everyone, hope you're having a good Wednesday. Typically with my new coloring books, I will hold them and do flip through Fridays, but with coloring books that um, I pre-order and it's their actual release date, I do like to do um, separate videos just for those because I know a lot of times those are, um, well for some of them are pretty heavily anticipated books and that you'd like to see a flip through before you actually purchase them. Uh, this one I believe is has been released today. It's available on Amazon and I did receive it in my mail this morning. So we are going to do a flip through of it. It is Creative Haven uh, Country Farm Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. And um, let's see, we'll just run through this real quick. Just as a quick aside, I don't know if I'm doing a coloring chat this week. I I shot a video one yesterday. I may just do the voiceover on that and call it good, but this has not been my week um, by any stretch of the imagination. And it's Wednesday and I'm already burnt out and it just does not bode well. But I do at least want to get this video up today because like I said, this is just being released today, at least in the US. I'm not sure about other areas. So this is the US release uh, date as far as I know. Um, so Creative Haven books are what I like to call average size coloring books. They're like a roughly eight and a half by 11. Um, well, I'm not gonna, hang on. We'll grab Jade Summer. If you wanna compare it to a Jade Summer book, keep the bottom part flush here. It's just a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner than those. So it's, I don't think it's quite eight and a half by 11, but it's close enough that this is what I consider an average coloring book size. All Creative Haven books, um, they have different artists that release under their, uh, their brand. They are uh, from Dover Publications. I like them because the books are consistent. These are one-sided, medium quality paper, perforated paper. Um, so they're all, so you know what you get with every Creative Haven book, which is really nice. Here is the binding. They also put the information on the binding, which is really nice. Here's the back. I'll read a little bit like I always do, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. So, uh, idyllic scenes of country charm. Colors can relax and unwind with this beautiful look of picturesque illustrations of life on a farm. And there are 31 images in this. You've got your Creative Haven info here, um, and then your Dover publications here. The tip, uh, the base price on the book says $5.99 US. On Amazon, currently it is $5.41, so you save a little bit if you go ahead and order it today. Um, on the Dover site, I'm not, of course I didn't pull it up on the Dover site because I'm crazy, but um, it is, pro is I'm sure, available to purchase on the Dover site as well, so, uh, and probably book depository too, so, all right. We have a completed page uh, example here on the cover, like an inspiration type page. Sorry, it's shiny. I am all over the place today, guys. I'm sorry, I'm can barely string two sentences together <laughs> evidently. Here is the uh, title page. Then you get, let me see, I thought I fixed this. So you get your copyright info, a description paragraph. A tranquil country setting is a perfect place to keep calm and farm on as pictured in this charming coloring book. So here we go. This may very well be the first page I color in this. I actually wanted to do a flip through and then kind of start coloring on that page. But I don't, I don't know guys. I like this one too. As a, uh, as one of the start pages. Got a couple pages with a few little quotes on them. I would say this is really typical Teresa Goodridge style. If you have any of her other books and you enjoy them, uh, Country Charm, 
Why am I blanking out on the other one? Autumn scenes. I think there's spring scenes. Uh, there's a, there's different uh, seasonal books. And like I said, the style is very consistent with her other books. One of my favorite pictures I colored, I think, was from her Country Charm page last summer. And it turned out so pretty. I want to do something similar because I used mixed mediums in it. And I really want to do another page like that again. And that was what I was saying. It'd be really neat to do that as a color and chat. I just don't know if I have that in me this week. So if we can't get it in this week, we will shoot for another week, perhaps. So plenty of farm animals to choose from, plenty of flowers, fruits and veggies. I do really like this one too. So I'm kind of torn. Those are, those are the, well, we got this one too, cause hello kittens. Um, so yeah, I got four pages in here. I'll have to come back through and see which one really, really jumped out at me. Gosh, now going back through, I'm like, I really like, I like all the pictures, but those four in particular were the ones that really just, I was like, was that a crack in the roof? No, that's a bird. I was like, goodness. Somebody needs to be calling a, a contractor to come fix that. And that was the one that was on the inside cover. They're shifty eyed, but that's okay. And see, geese are just, and <laughs> geese are mean to me, so that doesn't surprise me that they look shifty eyed. I like this one too. Be calm and farm on. Fair amount of detail work, um, but these pictures, these pictures turn out well no matter what type of coloring you do with them. And see, I like this one. So I've got about a handful of pages I'm already kicking around in terms of wanting to start on one of them. Just these types of pages for me are going to require some prep work. So here is an example in the back cover of one of the pages. And there you go. Country Farm Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodrich. Like I said, it is out today. You can find it on Amazon, uh, Dover Publications, and Book Depository. I will put all the links down below. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys have a better rest of the week than I do. <laughs> then it seems like I'm going to. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye for now.